Let's look at on-site oil analysis applications for the mining industry. So first of all, let's describe what the mining industry means, or another word for it is resource extraction. In this particular case, we're talking about getting something out of the ground. And there's five distinct processes that are covered in a mining operation. And this can be on one mine site or it can be on multiple areas. Usually there's some sort of drilling and blasting to get the resources out of the ground. Then you have load and haul, moving the product to a local processing area. Then you have a complete processing where you crush the product to be able to make your final product. You sometimes will have a stockpile, especially if it's coal or large ore concentrate. And then you have a transport section where it comes off the mine. So almost all mining processes have five distinct areas. In the world of mining, there's different types of mining. It ranges from strip or open pit mining. Um, that's common for some of the major ores. You also can have underground mining, which is also common in different areas of the world, depending on the application, depending on the ore. You can have multiple of that. The types of major um, ore uh, or precious metals that are usually uh, uh, mined today and are, uh, have interest in on-site analysis are the people who are extracting things like gold, lead, silver, uranium, coal, iron, copper, nickel, any of these elements are going to be showing up there and what's really interesting is is that the people who are involved with extracting these product understanding their process is very important and what's really interesting is that they talk about their all-in cost what is the cost to extract it from out of the ground to get it to marketplace and so that's known as their major KPI and any mining maintenance uh, expert or mining operative will know what their overall KPI is. A typical cost is dollars per ounce or per ton, depending on the uh, element or the mine uh, product that you're producing. For example, in the gold industry, gold extraction on an open pit mine could range between $350 to $700 per ounce. That's what we call the all-in cash cost, the cost to get it there. Compl compare that to what the typical gold price is on the stock exchange and you can see what their margin is. Um, so all, all mining companies are looking to try and reduce their cost to get their product out of the ground and processed before it goes to market. Why consider on-site oil analysis? Well, as we said, maintenance costs are the largest percentage of those operation costs that we just described. So for open pit mining, because it's heavily intensive with capital equipment, you could be talking between 45 and 60% of the cost of, of extraction is maintenance costs. Underground, it's typically less than 35% because the products and the equipment is different. Smelters and some first processing can be maybe 25 to 30%. So you can see that any effort to reduce the cost of uh, maintenance is going to go directly to the bottom line and so as a result of that on-site oil analysis uh, is very very attractive to uh, mining operations. Mine maintenance personnel will understand that they're going to use all four maintenance strategies when they approach um, their maintenance uh, costs and it's not a question of just dropping run to failure uh, or focusing completely on proactive maintenance in many cases, what they're trying to do is strike an optimal balance between the time it takes and the cost of disruption to reduce breakdown and reduce the cost of maintenance and to maintain uptime. So almost all of your maintenance managers and mining reliability professionals will be worried about their KPIs that will aid to them to get their overall costs down. So things like acid utilization, mean time between failures, the cost per horsepower per hour, these are all critical KPIs that they use to, to, to assess how they're, they're doing in terms of maintenance. Anytime you put an on-site oil analysis program into the facility or into the location, you have a way of affecting these by driving these numbers down so that you can actually improve your all extraction cost. So what is the type of equipment that we see in mining operations that would be candidates for on-site oil analysis? Well, let's just look at the types of equipment that we would expect to see in different stages of the mining operation. 
In the drilling and blasting areas, if it's in open pit or underground, you're going to have drills, conveyors. These are large systems. Underground, you're going to have more complex long wall stripper style systems that are uh, going after long wall coal mining. In this situation, there's a lot of components here, which are hydraulics, gear drives, transmission systems that are all present on these systems. There can be also some engines, especially on the open pit systems. For the load and haul, that's what most of us typically would expect to see the large equipment. Um, so you'll see things like uh, haul trucks, excavators, you can have electric shovels, enormous equipment. Some of the biggest equipment that's ever been made on the planet has been employed in mining operations. For underground applications, expect to see a lot more what we call LHD or load haul dump type of machines, which are low, low, low ceiling systems, also known as scoop trams. They can be diesel engines, but they can also be electrical as well. Hydraulics, transmission systems, diesel engines, right propel, left propel, gear sets, slewing bearings, and air compressors are all components that are on these devices that will be candidates for fluid analysis. For your plant where the ore is processed, the fixed plant, you're going to deal with looks like an industrial plant. You've got ore coming in, you've got things like sag or semi-autogenous mills that are actually grinding the, 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 the ore. You can have ball mills, you can have pumps and gearboxes and cooling systems to be able to support that. And you have usually a power plant on the premises, a full stage power plant, either a full gen set or in some cases if it's large enough on the mine, a turbine power plant house. And so that's a power section. In those, you've got gearboxes, pumps, hydraulic systems, electric motors, gen sets, and engines. So on any one site, even if it's a small mine site, you can have many thousands of individual sampling points for where you can actually be able to um, routinely check. And all of these are driving lubricants. What's of major concern to us? Well. Almost in all the equipment we described, because of the environment that we're in, you're going to get a lot of dirt and process material present in the system. We often see a lot of equipment with a lot of the ore showing up on, on some of the on-site equipment. You'll see water content if it's in, in rough areas of the world, wear is a constant issue, TBN if it's engines, oxidation, particle count, all of these issues are critical areas for, for, for concern that need to be monitored. And many mining reliability professionals are very, very um, adept at identifying these tests for their equipment as well as being able to um, set alarms so that they can identify what needs to be done. The on-site systems allow you to do that. Um, the major solutions that we propose out there, the Microlab 40 is excellent for both the, uh, the blast and drill systems as well as the load and haul systems. It also does a great job for fairly simple mill plants where the equipment there is fairly constant. There are some sites that you might have exotic materials or exotic lubricants present like PAGs or certain areas of the world. In those cases talk to us because a mini lab solution might be a better case than that. One thing to note is that what's unique about mining environment is that the mining lubricants are oftentimes industrial lubricants, but they have extra fortification. There may be a more advanced additive package, or there may be more aggressive uh, uh, dirt removal packages present that are designed for the harsh environments. Many of the OEMs for the equipment that's provided actually provide a unique blend of oil that's just suitable to meet the requirements for that application although other alternatives are present. So in all cases, on-site analysis is a really good solution for reducing your cost in a mining application.